We're now going to go over the procedures and techniques when using x-ray units, known as fluoroscopes, magnetometers, the unit that looks like a door frame, and a handheld metal detector, also known as a wand. In this training video, we will only be concentrating on detecting weapons and items that could cause bodily harm. Individuals place objects on the conveyor belt, which carries them under the x-ray box. The x-ray box has a video camera that displays on a flat screen TV everything within its scope. Having people take off their shoes and then pass them through the x-ray system, like at airports, is an inconvenience. Having people take off their shoes and run them through the x-ray system usually occurs at very high risk locations. If it is required by the client, one technique is to have the person hold onto something and stand on one foot, bring their other foot up so that the handheld wand can scan the shoe. Laptops are an ideal container for an explosive device. They also must remove all other metallic objects on their person and place them into a plastic container provided. If the subject is a man and he's wearing a hat, politely ask him to take the hat off and scan the hat. It's not unknown for someone to secretly hide a weapon inside of a hat. Have the person stand facing you, arms extended to the side, and parallel to the floor. You then want to scan the front side, from the shoulders down to the shoes. Starting under one arm, close to the body, scan all the way to the hand, and then back to the top of the arm, to the neck. If a woman is wearing a necklace, and you cannot see the item that's attached to the end of the necklace because it's under their garments, ask them to pull the necklace up so that you can inspect the other end of the necklace. This training video was made to familiarize you with the various levels of access control. The word access is defined as a message of entering or approaching a place. A security officer patrolling around the perimeter of a warehouse is there to control access into the building by unauthorized persons. A security officer assigned to an office building lobby controls who is allowed in the building and identification cards are checked before access is allowed. Access control systems begin to get more sophisticated. One example is access electronic door locks. Then there are fingerprint systems. A fingerprint system is when a person is required to place their thumb on the reader. Another system used in high security locations is the eye recognition system. If a person is not a tenant with an access card, the security officer is required to physically screen the guest or delivery person. This begins with them showing a picture ID and ascertaining their purpose for entering the building. These policies and procedures will be found in your post orders or given to you by your supervisor during post-orientation.